Hey guys, so today we are heading to Nosawa Onsen and we are going to be spending Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days there. So we are going mainly for the Fire Festival on the Monday, which I'm super excited about. It was so hard to get a booking for a hotel there. So we booked back in September and we had to end up emailing the hotels in Japanese to ask if they had any spare rooms. So luckily Eric and I managed to get some accommodations We're with a bunch of friends on this trip so it's going to be super fun. I'm also going to try snowboarding for the very first time so we'll see how that goes. I don't think I'm going to go today. I want to explore the onsen town and also mainly because I'm really tired so I feel like maybe tomorrow might be a better day to try. Uh, but yeah, we are almost there. It's going to be the next stop on the Shinkansen. Let's, let's just like go down really slow. We don't want any accidents. We have decided to go snowboarding today. So I have to rent everything first. Oh, oh. We can do this. Okay, we're safe. Put us out there, but I don't know. You might be able to board over maybe. I look very snug. Maybe. Oh, Good opportunity to teach her how to skate. <laughs> That was so lucky. <sighs> that would have taken forever for us to get up the mountain. <sighs> okay, so let's do some lessons. Alright. Okay, try. Okay. Get your foot on the board. Uh, not in not okay. in the straps obviously, yeah. but just okay, on just the board on, so yeah, that gotcha. you're sliding a little. Because okay. we're really I just skated around. My hair's a mess. I yeah, feel like it I will can't... be with I feel like I can't actually tie my hair off because it hurts. So it hurts at the back, so I won't do that long enough. It's alright, I do some skating and that's it. Thank you. We are just taking a quick break right now, uh, getting some lunch. Ah, the snow is so much heavier now. Oh, here's my snowboard, getting buried in the snow. Everyone's gone up the mountain because I'm still a beginner. I don't feel confident about that. I told everyone just go up and I'm just going to chill by myself <laughs> around here somewhere. So I'm going to try and practice by myself first. Alright, so I've just been kind of like skating around because I'm not comfortable putting both feet or clipping both feet into the snowboards yet because I know I'm just going to fall over. Um, because the lessons were booked out today, I managed to book one for tomorrow morning. So I thought today I'm just going to take it easy, try and get used to it. So I was going down like some very, you know, small 
they're not even slopes they're just like slanted bits of <laughs> land so yeah just trying to practice trying to learn how to turn that's what I need to work on so yeah everyone else is on the slopes I told them just go because I'm a beginner I don't want to hold them back so I've just been practicing by myself um, I was trying to get footage but I don't know where to leave my camera and it's snowing really heavily but I'll try and see if I can get some Oh gosh, walking that snow is not fun. It's our accommodation. Nothing special. It's pretty much like a hostel. Um, but now we're gonna head out to dinner. I'm just gonna wear the snow gear I rented. Lots of snow. Ready snow, ready snow, ready snow. It's not Christmas anymore. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's gonna go in. Whoa! <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, so we finished dinner. Now we're just going to head to just a place to grab some drinks with everyone because we're a big group. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this feels amazing. Compared to before, it was way too cold before. This is great. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna head back to our accommodation. I wanna go onsen. Then we're gonna sleep early for my snowboard lesson tomorrow at 10 a.m. We have to check out of our accommodation. We're leaving tomorrow. And then, yeah, do that first, then pick up our rental gear, then go to our lesson. I wasn't really vlogging much today because the whole time I was trying to focus on not falling down in the snow. Oh, oh my god! Wow! That was, that was, um, that was a lot of snow. Oh, bye! We are back in our accommodation and I'm just gonna take a shower and go to bed. So the showers, I believe is a sento, so it's kind of like a public bath. This is kind of like a hostel. It was one of like the only accommodations that were available when we booked. Um, so, I mean, look, it's fine. Like it's a pretty nice room and I'm not very fussy. I feel like for me, as long as I have a bed and it's warm, I'm good. So yeah, today was, okay, I didn't do too much when we were snowboarding today because I'm still very beginner, but I am going to wake up early tomorrow. I have a snowboard lesson, so I'm hoping that tomorrow I will maybe get a little bit better. Because I am very beginner, I am taking like the level one class, which means that I'm not going to be taking the lift to go up the mountain at all. It said in the... It said in the program that after the lesson, if the snowboard instructor thinks that you're ready for the mountain, they will let you know. So we'll see how we go. It's almost 11, so I'm just going to go quickly get everything done and head to bed so we can wake up early for tomorrow.
we need to get up the mountain. I'm in the middle of my lesson. It's getting better. It's still difficult, but getting better. I'm so hot. I had to take off the face mask. Beautiful day, though. So I had my first snowboarding lesson and I was okay like look I found going back was really hard but overall it was worth it so I only booked the morning but then they said that there is a full day course which I can just pay a little bit extra to join but I needed to get a lift ticket so I just bought that for four hours I figured because I'm snowboarding for the first time having an instructor will help greatly <laughs> I'm a mess right now, I sweated so much. So, um, I didn't film any footage when I was up the mountain because, look, as a beginner, you're literally stacking it every two seconds. Uh, I was so bad at the start. I kept on standing up and then going down really fast and then just falling over. But then, eventually got better. Um, I managed to go down some slopes without falling, but I know tomorrow I'm gonna to be in so much pain, so I'm done for the day. See, like my <laughs> goggles left a mark. <sighs> so I'm just gonna wait for my friends to get down the mountain because they're just going up and down, and then we're gonna head back. Oh, that's why Pat wanted to go down here. <laughs> yeah, say so I was like, oh, he knows the bar. Okay, we'll follow you. Wow. Dunama. Wow. Oh, is he famous? He's a comedian. Apparently a famous comedian. Oh, so we just got interviewed by him. Oh, he's got 
were interviewed by a famous Japanese comedian for TV. <laughs> Towels. Where are towels at? So Eric, can I book the nonsen? Yeah, for our hotel. Let's go. Here's the onsen. it is the next day I just had a lovely breakfast in our accommodation I love this place like it's so cute so Eric and I had to book two places because we couldn't find an accommodation that had four days you know in a row because it's so busy right now because of the fire festival so we were lucky enough to be able to find accommodation and we're in this place for two nights and I think it's adorable so in this Nozawa Onsen area, most of the places you're going to be staying in, they have like public baths, so you don't have a shower in your room. It's kind of like more of a hostel kind of vibe, but I really enjoy it. So the last place, the bath wasn't so great, but this place you can actually well, you have to book. It's private, so you need to book in a time slot for your shower onsen because there's no shower in your room. So Eric and I went in last night and Oh, the onsen was so hot, but once you get in, it was so nice, especially because my muscles were so sore from yesterday. So, okay, snowboarding yesterday, it was good, but, you know, because it was my very first time doing it, I fell down a lot, and I'm in pain right now. Like, my whole body hurts. My arms hurt a lot because I had to pull myself up a lot because of all the falling down. My butt hurts because I fell on my butt a lot. And, okay, also... I have to say, thank God I was wearing a helmet yesterday because there was one time I fell on my butt and then I hit my head really hard on the ground and as soon as I did that I was like, oh, I am so lucky that I was wearing a helmet because if I wasn't I feel like I would have passed out because I hit it so hard. So safety first guys, but I did enjoy it, I will do it again, just not this trip because yeah, I'm done. I'm just in too much pain. I feel like I need to recover. So all the boys have gone back onto the slopes, but the girls, we're all done. So we're going to explore Nozawa Onsen, this little town. It's really small, but there's quite a few things I want to do. So for example, there's outdoor foot baths that you can use for free. You can also cook some onsen tamago, which I really want to go to. And there's a few like little snack street food stores I want to go and visit. So yeah, we're just going to explore this little area and I'm going to take you guys with me with the girls. So yeah, I'm going to head out. I'm wearing my Shin Ramyeon hoodie because it's going to be really cold today but tonight it's the fire festival and this is why we are in Nozawa Onsen that's why it was so hard to find accommodation so we got very lucky with our, our accommodation even though it wasn't ideal because we had to split it up into two different places so yesterday it was a bit you know stressful because we had to move our luggage from one place to the other and then I had to rush to my lesson but I like this place a lot more than the previous the Breakfast was amazing. It was all like homemade food. We can always just stop by and see. Oh, this looks so cute. Oh, the foot bar. Free foot bar. It's temporary closed, but. It's not. I've been craving meat pies. Oh 
my god, have you tried this before? It's really I bad. Like, I don't like the apple. It's yeah. really bad. Okay, good ones, it's like it's, like, it's literally just dark chocolate and apple together, and it's, it's so bad. bad. How cute! Mini coin pouch. Man, if it had, if it had a shiver in on it, I would so get it. This is not what I was expecting. It's like um vegetable. Oh, it's, it's very hot. Oh, it's, it's very hot. hot. It's, it's very hot. Yeah. Ooh, snack. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I can break it. It's too like. Ooh, ooh, oh. Careful, careful. You got it. High risk, high reward. <laughs> her nails scare me. <laughs> But her, I feel like your, your nails would be perfect for this, right? Yeah, yeah you can just Because I don't get too hot because I'm holding it by the nails. Yeah. If it was me, I would have dropped it. I'm not good with hot stuff. It looks like, you know, the pickled vegetables? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. The yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to buy? No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm Oh no. It's <laughs> actually <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> really good. I haven't really cooked much, though, but I want to try and cook more. Oh, I do cool. miss it. Yeah. Do you cook Viet food a lot? No, I don't know how to cook. I cook Western. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and Viet as well. But I cook um whole Western. But Vietnamese food is hard because mm -hmm. you have to like. You honestly need like an outdoor kitchen because it's like it smells. Yeah. yeah, and you need to like cook for hours, right? I think because it's at a. It's still like. Not fully cooked, yeah. yeah. I love that, it's so good. We're just going to pick up some heat packs. We got for shoes and the ones you put in pockets, and I got some more sunscreen. So we explored the town for a bit, now we're just going to buy all this head pack. We are back in our hotel, we're just going to chill here for I don't know, just a few hours because the festival is at night time but we're all very sore from snowboarding. We got our ticket for the fire festival. So you can only attend the fire festival if you are staying in this town or I believe you can maybe buy tickets but I assume they'll be sold out like ages ago. I have to wear a different jacket because your jackets or your clothes could be damaged due to the fire, like sparks. <laughs> and I really don't want to ruin this jacket, so I'm going to wear Eric's snow jacket instead. a mess. My nose is runny, my makeup's probably all gone. Embers went on my hair at one point. 
but we were standing with some a big group of Europeans and then everyone's helping like put out <laughs> my hair it was fun yeah I think it's because like it was snowing so hard I feel like it was impossible to set that thing on fire also um, because it was so busy so many people around the snow started to get very slippery and what was turned to ice so people were slipping a lot at one point the staff had to push everyone back check out we're gonna see what our friends are up to um this is very slippery i have to be careful Ooh, i'm gonna walk very slow wow this snow is like thick today hey? it's like thick snow yeah, it's we've checked out now we're just going to explore the town we're going to go to this cafe that's uh, part of our accommodation I just need something warm and sugary to keep me going for an hour. Then we get some more food after. Everyone's just checking out. Some friends have already headed back to Tokyo. Uh, so, what's that? Yeah, Will and um, Steffi have headed back, I think, already. Our Shinkansen is at like 5 p.m. So, we're gonna take the bus from Nozal Onsen. Uh, around like four or something to get to Iyama station. These are so cute, all these towels. Oh, there's a shiba one. That's our one scent. Shiba tea towel. Oh, I like this one. Pretty. I like this. It's Nozawa Supreme style. Gonna go. That's cute. Love these little sheeps. Lingo sheep. Oh my god, they actually have sheep plushies. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, look. They got the Ringo sheep, onsen sheep. Hello. 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 I want to get this because Steph recommended it. So inside, it looks like this. They're actually shaped like apples. So I thought this would be something good to take home. Or is that a whole burn in your back? That's a whole burn. Wait, where? Yeah. Oh my, was that from the festival? Oh no! Look, from the festival. Damn. I wanted to explore this town a bit more, but today it's just too much. Oh, it's a full lizard. Oh my gosh.
Mm. Mm. I can all purple drops. <laughs> Me and Steph both agree that this is the most disgusting Kit Kat ever. Is it? Oh, this is okay. So this is um, oh. apple and chocolate, but it literally just tastes like dark chocolate and apple just together. It's exactly how it is, and it's disgusting. Ooh. I don't recommend. It doesn't sound. No, like it sounds good, cheeky. right? It sounds like it'll be okay. Yeah, but this is actually the worst one I've ever had. Wow. Well, I would say. This is the worst. <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> There was, a, there was one that was literally called not on a flavor, like like a throat lozenge flavor. I don't know. Exactly. That was like, that's my question. No, I don't like that. That's ugly. Yeah, get that one. Otherwise, it's not one of these. No, I don't want, I don't want Supreme <laughs> style. Eggs. Okay, I'm done. Teamwork. <laughs> my non-dominant hand. Teamwork. So oh no, stressed. shit. Oh my god, it's okay, we've got this. Sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm going to shake his own. Yes, thank you, that's just one's enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Teamwork. Teamwork. So we met on the bus. We all had to like fight to get on and the bus was kind of late. We were all waiting in like this blizzard. Oh, it was so cold. But the next bus is in like two hours, so we had to get on this bus. We have made it to Yama Station. We also managed to change our Shinkansen so we can get back a bit earlier. And now we've got a bit of time before the train, so I'm gonna get some food because I'm starving. That's very nice. Now my chocolate truffle, hell yeah, whatever. Yes, yeah, Snickers, thank you. Yes, thank you. So we don't have enough time to get food, so we have to get some random snacks. made it back home I'm so exhausted but I had so much fun I feel like when I talk my mouth really hurts I don't know what happened but I think maybe when I fell down or something when I was snowboarding I bit uh, my mouth so I must have gone like this I don't know anyway it really hurts so I must have like bitten myself when you know I've fallen down and didn't know about it um, but anyway today was really exhausting because of the strong winds in Nozawa pretty much like as soon as you walk out you get snow like just blasting on your face and if you're not wearing gloves if your face is not covered you just freeze so most of the day we were just trying to find some shelter and yeah I couldn't really bring out my camera because if I do I have to take my gloves off and if I was trying to vlog my hands would just be frozen but we managed to get on the bus to go back to Iyama Station, which was a mission because, okay, there were so many people trying to get on this bus because obviously the festival was yesterday and everyone's leaving Nozawa today. So we had to like, you know, fight people to get on this bus. Luckily they did bring extra buses, but still, it was hectic. Um, and we booked the Shinkansen earlier, actually. So we managed to get... Um, on the train two hours before our original booking. So I was going to pick up Hina from the dog hotel, but I figured, okay, look, we had already paid for tonight. Plus, if we were to pick her up, we would have to rush back home because we only had like half an hour, which, look, I feel like looking back, 
potentially we wouldn't have made it because the Shinkansen was delayed a little bit because there was something wrong with the lines. Not only that, I did book Hina in for a groom tomorrow morning so they were gonna groom her call me then I was gonna go pick her up and okay I mean I could do it myself because I do have to shower Hina every week anyways but I'm exhausted and I feel like tomorrow I just want to relax and or catch up on a lot of work so yeah we decided because we've already paid for tonight we might as well just let her relax for the night at the hotel because she's having a lot of fun she's got friends there and then we'll pick her up tomorrow but yeah um I really enjoyed this trip in Nazawa and snowboarding was fun my body is still in a lot of pain I would do it again um, and we are going to be planning another snowboard trip for next month. This one's going to be a dog one, so I'm bringing together all of my neighbours who live in our apartment building. We're going to do a dog snow resort trip, which is going to be so fun. I'm very excited because we're all going to bring our doggos. So Hina, um, Gonchan, uh, Milo-chan and Rolokun, uh, Hannah and Matt's dog, is also going to come. So yeah, it's going to be... Heaps of fun and yeah, I just really enjoy hanging out with all my friends on these trips. Like it's been so good because last year, Eric and I didn't really travel that much. I did a fair bit of traveling towards the end of the year, but that was for work. And whenever I travel with work, Eric doesn't come with me because obviously he's got his own work. So he can't just take time off so easily. Plus we have Hina. So if Eric and I were both on these trips, then that means that we have to leave Hina at the dog hotel, which, you know, it's not ideal. We don't really want her to stay there. It's better for her to be at home and someone stay at home to take care of her. So yeah, that's why Eric doesn't usually come with me on these trips. And plus, work trips, it's not as, you know, relaxing and fun as your own personal travels because when you're on work trips you're there for work you have to you know be with the client you have to think of what content you're gonna film you have to you know go out with the clients you have to you know there's a lot of stuff going on it's work but when you are doing a private trip you can just do whatever the hell you want and that was you know it's just really nice because I usually don't go on many private trips and that's something that I really want to do this year now that Eric and I feel like we've finally kind of settled down in Japan though we do want to move eventually uh, but that's you know a conversation for next time but yeah that's one thing we really want to do just more travel within Japan explore more of Japan together with Hina as well of course so yeah that's gonna be very exciting with all these trips coming up in terms of the fire festival I don't know if I am up for it again next year, I would love to go back to Nozawa for sure. I love the town. It is so nice. It's very small, but I love the vibes and it's so beautiful. So I would love to go back there when it's not so busy. I feel like during the Fire Festival, it's just insane. And also the Fire Festival is amazing. It was so cool to experience, but I don't know if I want to do it again just because it was so cold. We were outside for like four or five hours in like this blizzard uh, with like, you know, snow flying at us and in embers. It was so cool, but also very crowded. So, you know, we were kind of getting crushed by the crowd. The staff were, I feel so sorry for the staff, but they were trying so hard to push everyone backwards because of course the fire was getting bigger and bigger and it's, it was getting dangerous. So they were trying so hard to push people back. But the problem was the snow had turned into ice because everyone was stepping on it and people were just slipping, people were falling forwards, the staff were trying to push everyone backwards, so it was so chaotic. So I'm not sure if I want to experience that again, but I'm glad I got to see it once. Um, but anyway guys, I think I'm gonna go to bed very early tonight. What time is it now? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. It's not that, you know, it's not that bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully wake up early tomorrow. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my trip to Nozawa Onsen because I loved it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!